Hello everybody, welcome back to Sabir Cad. In this new series of video, I would like to deal with some interview questions related with AutoCAD. I normally conduct interview for students as well as for employees. In each video, I would like to deal with three most relevant questions. In this video, I would like to deal with questions related with complex objects. So stay tuned. Question number one, what is a complex object? In AutoCAD, objects can be classified into two categories. The first type of object is called simple objects and the second category of object is called complex objects. Simple objects are single objects. Example, line, circle, arc, etc. In a complex object, there are many objects in a single object. And such objects are called complex objects or compound objects. Question number two, Give an example for a complex object. Answer. In AutoCAD, there are objects like polylines, blocks, dimensions, etc. which are having objects within objects. So that's the speciality of a complex object. In a complex object, we can find objects within an object. And typical example for a complex object is a polyline. A polyline is called a complex object because in a polyline, we can see lines, points and arcs and these points are called vertices. Now if you consider another object, block for example, a block is an object which is made up of many objects in a single object. A dimension is another typical example for a complex object. A dimension is made up of sub-objects such as dimension extension lines, dimension lines, dimension arrowheads, dimension text, etc. The next question, what exactly is the difference between the width and the line weight when it is given to a polyline? because both will appear to be the same. Answer, width is an attribute which is given specific to a polyline. And you can give a width by using uh, the width option in the polyline command. Okay, you can give polyline and there you will get the width option. And width can be varying. You can give a different starting width and an ending width. Whereas line weight is a property which can be given to any object using the properties palette. So for that, you have to select an object Press Ctrl 1 to get the properties palette and you can give any desired line weight and you can turn on the show hide line weight button option at the status bar toggles to see the line weight. So width is nothing but an attribute which can be given specific to a polyline and it cannot be given to any other object. Whereas a line weight is a property which can be given to any object by using the properties palette. I hope it's clear. So that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video with three different questions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and like this video. Thank you so much.